loop de loop de loop hey what's going on guys welcome back to another video in this video I'll be covering the loop cut tool and uh, let's just jump in I'll show you how this tool is used and uh, a few things uh, you can do with this tool but it's primarily used to add uh, geometry to your mesh so let me just start with the cube first and uh, make it editable by clicking C and then just switch into the face mode uh, polygon face mode so as you can see I can select faces here uh, but that's not important uh, so the shortcut uh, for the loop cut tool is ML. So if you click ML, uh, it will activate the loop cut tool or the path cut tool. And UL is for loop selection. Uh, let me just do UL. As you can see, we can do loop selection, just like this. And ML is for loop cutting. Uh, so you have a few different options here. You have, um, let's see. You have your offset, distance, and number of cuts. That's kind of like your main option. And these three options resemble the same thing you see up top here. So we have um, the distance here. Uh, we have plus that can add different cuts. And then we have minus that can subtract cuts. And so if I do, if I cut once, it's just by left clicking. As you can see, we created the cut. I can always click plus here and add cuts. And I can always click minus to subtract my cuts. And uh, it's the same thing as we have here. And also, if uh, for some reason, uh, let me just cut it here, for example. As you can see, the offset right now is 84%. Uh, this button right here with three slashes will center your loop in between two other loops. So as you can see, if I click that, my loop goes right in the middle of two other loops. So that's really handy. You can do it using this uh, little palette of options here, uh, which is more like visual. Or you can do it here, which is offset. As you can see, I can move it around and it changes, changes here as well. So it's the same thing. It just depends what you want to do. So let me just show you. As you can see, it says 55. I can put it to 20, and my loop uh, goes downwards. And same thing for the distance. I can uh, drag in or out, as you can see. And number of cuts, it's the same thing as I hit plus uh, right here, or minus. So that's, that's really easy. A uh, few other options you have, let me just do ML again. Uh, you have loop and then you have path. And you know, it just depends what you're doing. So as you can see, path is just uh, cutting across one um, polygon instead of cutting all, all the way around. So as you can see here, it doesn't even work. Let me just try to deselect, let's see. Yeah, it's the same. I guess um, the path, you know, comes in handy when you have more complex objects. But as you can see here, it doesn't really make a difference if I'm in path or loop. But I usually stay in the loop. Uh, you know, it's just more uh, more secure and more. You know, it just works better uh, when you even when you uh, making something more complex. Uh, so let's see what else other options you have. Uh, selected cuts is really useful. So what you can do is you can cut. And then uh, you can click E right after you cut, and you can move your cut around uh, using your move tool. And this is deselected. Let me just do ML and deselect um, this checkbox right here. If I cut and try to press E, as you can see, everything disappears and my loop becomes uh, um, permanent. So the only way to move your loop is to use uh, UL, which is loop selection. And then select the same loop that I cut before, and then click E. And then I can move it from here. Oops. As you can see, I can move it from here. So selecting your cuts after you cut them is really useful. It just depends what you're doing. Uh, so let me just do ML one more time. Check the different options. So we also have symmetrical cuts. It's really useful. As you can see, wherever you cut it, if you activate it, wherever you cut it, uh, you can uh, cut it the same thing on the other side. So if I click, as you can see, uh, they give me two cuts, and if I click plus, it will give me three, four, and so on. So that's really useful as well. And also what you can do uh, inside the symmetry is uh, play around with the distance. So you can bring your uh, loops closer or farther away from each other. And it only works when you have multiple loops. So if you only have one, the distance and offset becomes the same thing. And a number of cuts, as you can see, it's the same as I showed you before. Uh, let me see what other options you have here. So you have loop cut range. You can uh, specify your range, how uh, 
how far you want your loop to cut. So as you can see right now, we have it at one and it only cuts uh, from there to there. And let me just try to change it to maybe two and see what happens. So as you can see, uh, the rain increased and my loop cuts uh, more or less. So let me just put it to 0.5 and see what happens. I guess you go, it can go uh, lower than one. So let me just put it to four. And as you can see, it cuts all the way through now. And with one, it only cuts two uh, polygons instead of going all the way around. So this can be useful sometimes using range instead of uh, your uh, default settings. And let's see. Let's see what else is useful here. Most of the time I use the loop cut tool uh, in default. You know, it just gets the job done. As long as you have clean geometry, uh, which is quads, you know, every face has uh, four points. So as you can see, I have four points here, four points here, four points there. And let me just show you in a different example. So instead of using the regular cube, I can go in my top mode, create a polygon, and make it editable. So if I go in my uh, polygon pen tool, I can start dragging uh, different polygons out. And um, I'm holding command, by the way. So let me just do something like this. And now I'm going to do ML, the loop cut tool. And as you can see, I can start cutting as long as my uh, mesh is not broken. So let me just play with the settings here. Uh, turn off symmetrical cut and turn off the range. As you can see, I can cut all the way across, but as soon as my uh, mesh is broken, which is not quad, and I try to cut it, as you can see, it doesn't cut all the way across anymore because I have triangles. So look at tool only works good in uh, uh, quads, so just keep that in mind. Uh, let me just check the settings one more time to see if there's anything else. Uh, the curvature really works good when you're working with, uh, you know, you're modeling faces and so on, anything that's round. Uh, so in this case, it's not really going to do anything. But if you have, uh, you know, like a spherical object, anything that's round, uh, the preserved curvature works pretty good. You can play around with the setting, but most of the time, you know, the loop cut just does its job on, in the default settings. And... We have proportional edge distance, and uh, in this case, it doesn't really do anything, but I'll just keep it on proportional. It's the most accurate and uh, gives you the best results. Anyway, guys, uh, that's about it. So just remember, uh, the shortcut is ML, and the UL is for loop selection. And these uh, two shortcuts are going to be really useful for you, uh, you know, switching between modes or uh, switching between tools. Uh, so if this video helped you, please leave a like, uh, subscribe, and uh, I will see you in my next video, guys. Have a good day.